Hi students, the next concept which we are going to learn is sexual reproduction in human beings. Let us begin this topic with an apparently unrelated point. All of us know our bodies change as we become older. We have learnt all these changes, some of these changes in our previous classes. So let's see that. So we all know that we all came from a single cell that is zygote later it developed into an embryo and it forms into a baby. So here a baby grows and it forms it enters into a childhood then to adolescence then to adulthood. So these all the growth changes we can see in everyone every individual life. These are the common changes in every individual life. All these changes can, give, can be grouped under general process of growth in which the body becomes larger and bigger. But in teenage years, the age where a child enters into adolescence, a set of changes can be, cannot be explained simply as body enlargement. So they, can, they cannot be seen as a simply a body is growing. Here, some of these changes will be common in girls and also in boys. But some of them are different in boys and girls. Some changes can be happened only in boys. Some changes can be only happened in girls. So, th these changes happening during a period of time where a child enters into adolescence. So, what do we call and what is the relation with this to the sexual reproduction of human beings? See, even though both the sexes have reproductive organs by birth, still they cannot participate in the process of reproduction before attaining sexu sexual maturity. That means we have two different sexes, one is male and the other is female. So, both the, fem both the individuals, both the sexes having reproductive organs by birth. But still, immediately after birth, they cannot give birth to a new individual. They cannot produce a new offspring. Even though they have these reproductive organs by birth, still they cannot produce a new individual before attaining sexual maturity. When they will attain this sexual maturity, they will attain this sexual maturity during the period when they enter from childhood to adolescence. Sexual maturation in human beings. Humans can reproduce an offspring only when they attain sexual maturity. As I told you, no one can give immediately birth after their birth. When they can give a new offspring, when they can produce a new, new offspring, only when they attain sexual maturity. Let's understand what is this sexual maturity? What changes will happen in this period of time? We also have a name for this sexual maturity. We call that period of time as puberty. Puberty is a period of attaining sexual maturation and achievement of fertility. So, they have the ability to produce a new offspring after this period of time. Let's understand what changes will happen in this puberty period. Right. So, in girls, in girls, we can see that growing hair under armpits. Even in boys, we can see a hair growth that is facial hair, beard growing and moustache formation. This can be seen in boys. And this is a common change in girls and boys. We can see that their skin will become little oily and pimple formation will be seen in both the boys and also in the girls. So, let's understand few of the changes that can only happen in boys, only happen in girls. Let's see them. So, in boys, a hormonal changes will be happen. In boys, testosterone hormone will produce which causes a physical changes in them. In girls, or in girls some of the hormones release their secretions which is which changes their body physically and this also change their mental state also mood swings will be there in 
boy and also even in the girl during the this period of time puberty then the sexual organs start growing and preparing for the reproduction in this period of time male sex organs will be growing and they will be ready for the reproduction right in girls also ovaries grow larger and produce hormones here boys increase their height and weight and hair grows in the pubic area the underarms and face and also in the legs and in girls we can see that menstrual menstrual cycle starts and hips become little widen and in boys the major change we can see is their vocal cords change and voice become different voice grows deeper in girls sweat glands become more active and some of the boys develops acne and here in even in girls also we can see that that means pimples or pimples will arise at in facial face area and here the reproductive system starts working and they can procreate that means they can there they have now they have the ability to produce an offspring and here even in girls due to hormone production many more swing more swings will be there see just now we discussed let's have a little clarity about this so when there is no certain age this will happen in this particular age it may vary from one individual to other individual and it cannot happen all at a time in one person there is no spe specific exact age for this changes in boys we can see this change we can be seen these changes in the period of 12 to 16 and in girls we can see that before in 10 to 14 years so what will happen in boys sexual changes begin with the enlargement of scrotum and testis typically followed by lengthening of the penis these changes we can see in the boys and in girls sexual changes begin with the breast budding breast will become little larger and nipples will grow little darker and uh, followed by this a menstrual cy cycle starts what else next see here in girls we can see menstrual cycle starts this is a indication they are entering into the age of puberty and in boys we can see these changes acne formation facial hair and voice change mood swings and even the genital hair growth and also male sex organs will start growing little larger then so in at glance we can see that males the body composition will be changed like this and in boy in girls according to the girls the shape changes hair grows under armpits and in genital areas and formation of menstrual cycle in girls these are the major changes in male and female body growths so this is most common this is these are the most common changes which happens in the puberty period in males and also in females this will happen to every individual right how do all these changes linked with the reproductive process why we are discussing about these changes without discussing sexual reproduction in human beings how these all are linked to the process of sexual reproduction in human beings let's understand that so sex we already know that sexual reproduction means germ cells of two different organisms fuse to form a zygote male germ cells and female germ cells will form will fuse and form a zygote when this will happen when the individual produces this germ cells when this individual produces their germ cells when they attain sexual maturity this is how it is linked with that process if the animals we can see an example here if animals want to participate in the process of mating their state of sexual maturity must be identifiable identifiable by other individuals they'll participate in this mating only when they identify the other animal other sex of animal is ready for that then only they'll participate in this process of mating even the same in puberty in humans is an indication that they are now cap capable to produce a new offspring this is how it is linked with the sexual reproduction in human beings 
later we are going to learn about the reproductive system in males and also in the females what else how this process is going to be happen thank you